Okay. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I'm ready now. Okay, Phil, you can go ahead and shout out Emily. Thank you. Thank you for the raid, Emily. Sorry, I'm like almost 30 minutes late today, but it's not all it's not completely my fault. Hey, listen. <laughs> oh, you were streaming more Spirit Fair? Oh no. I, I need to play that game, but I'm so scared it's gonna make me cry so much. <laughs> I hope you had a good stream, though. Oh, oh. It just emotionally wrecked me. <laughs> Gosh. Well, sometimes that's what you need, right? Sometimes what you want. To be completely, utterly destroyed emotionally. <laughs> Welcome in, everybody. Thank you for being here today. I hope you're all doing well. On this, our last day of, our last official day of Pride, but as I say, Pride is always forever. Every day, every month, every year. But, the official celebrations are ending today, so I did want to do a few special things today. As well as play some Breath of the Wild. I know that's why Jack is here. <laughs> How are you all doing? Tell me about your evenings. Tell me about your days. What did you have for dinner? <laughs> so as you all saw on the screen prior to starting, I've been watching Bastard on Netflix. What is that? So I'm going to cover my face for a moment because, as I said we would do in the previous streams, instead of me talking through everybody, I went ahead and I made a graphic. It took me like, I don't know, 30 minutes today to put this together. And just to kind of remind everyone who I shouted out over the course of the month, it's crazy that it's already been an entire month and it's already July tomorrow, what happened to June. But these are all the lovely folks that I shouted out in my streams. And the reason I picked this particular group of people, and again, I'm not trying to, I'm, I'm hoping none of you feel left out on this, but the reason I did pick these 10 people is because they all have not only made an impact on me, but make an impact on other people, positive impacts on other people all the time. And that's one of the reasons I wanted to shout them out and make sure that y'all go check them out because they all affect the greater world in good ways so check them all out those what you see up there are twitch handles so they all are streamers and although one is kind of on hiatus at the moment but they all are streamers so go ahead and check them out please follow them they all are kind welcoming good people that deserve all the love and yeah it's just i don't know much more i could say about them they're just all what I, of what I haven't said already, but they're all just lovely people. So we'll be shouting them out throughout the stream today again. And um, also, since we're here, um, since Brand is here also, I have been, I'm showing off the uh, banner that you made to Brand for our Discord server. You did such a wonderful job with it, so thank you for putting it together. This is but a, I would say a small sampling of the wonderful people we have in my Discord that I've gotten to meet and become friends with over the past year, I would say. And it's just been so good getting to know all of these people, and it's so wonderful to have such a diverse selection of queer people surrounding me that have become my friends, and I'm just very, I feel very lucky to be a part of the community, and just a reminder that you all make the community what it is, so it's not just me, it's all of you that make this a great place to be, so thank you everyone. Um, these, I'll have these rotating on the break screens and I'll put them put them up every now and then throughout the stream just to give everyone a shout out again so thank you again Bran for all the work you did for this one um, I really appreciate that so but thank you I'm glad you're all here today and what I will do too I think when we get maybe part way through the stream there are quite there's a handful of other people I'd like to shout out to that also are I have a lot of respect for and they are not necessarily streamers, but 
I did want to call attention to them because they're also good people that deserve that. So, uh, but yeah, I think we'll get started with some Breath of the Wild first. And then as we get maybe well, halfway through the stream, about the hour and a half mark, we'll take a little break and chat some more and do some shout outs. So. Um, Phil, if you don't mind, I guess we could also shout out Bran and who else is here? Spice the game up a little. <laughs> I can't let you guys survive. Oh, and I have to shout <gasps> you out too, Phil. <laughs> it's like you're the one that's dying. <laughs> Why do you look confused though? <laughs> <laughs> you look dark and poor. <laughs> Why are they coming over to the Oh, I thought he walked through the pallet. <laughs> <laughs> Listen! <laughs> I looked back and it, it, it looked like somebody was uh, trying very hard. Since I know Phil won't shot himself out. It's just stretching me! The spirits say, he and they who say... smelt it, dealt it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Phil, we have to do something like that again, please. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Oh! Since Kieran is here too, he gifted me this really cute... Paint your own fox kit. And I have to make sure I do this. I don't know if I'm gonna do it on stream. I might maybe do it on stream at some point. I don't know how I would sell, set that up, but it's super cute, and it comes with paint in the back. I don't know if mine will look. I don't know if mine will look uh, this cute like this, but we'll see. <laughs> well, I'll try my best. <laughs> I have him sitting off to the side here for now until I can figure out where I'm going to put him when he's done. You don't feel well, so you're lying now with Kitty. Oh, I hope you feel better soon. I hope Kitty's keeping you good company. All right, let us switch over to Breath of the Wild, shall we? Oh, where is it? There it is. I hope you all had good days today. I still can't believe tomorrow is July already. I don't know what happened to June. It completely disappeared. Okay. Um, what are we doing now? I have to remember how to play this game again after not playing it for a week. Okay, what is our... How do I open the map again? There we go. We're going here. Okay. I do like... This is something I immediately noticed in when I played for the first time. When you look at the different names of all the places, it's like, hey, that name sounds familiar. Like Levia, Bonoru, Sahasra. That's very close to Sahasrala. I guess we have to walk through here, huh? Oh, and I forgot, it tells me that there's a shrine around. Crap. Can I attack this without blowing myself up? There we go. I just started the expansion for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. One of the leaders has hot daddy vibes. Oh no. Hot daddies are taking over. I'm totally fine with that.
Okay, one thing I do remember about the shrine detector is that it's not... It doesn't give you a good sense of vertically where they might be. I have a feeling the shrine is on top of the mountain though, I think. I just turned mine off. <laughs> Are you guys enjoying it? Is it good? I'm not familiar with Monster Hunter at all, so... Hi, Juco. Is that because you're annoying? <laughs> that was a short clip. How's it going, Juco? I'm gonna still stick to play at the moment. Oh. You're good, Jable? That's good. This is a monster camp. Yep. Is everyone sick? Can you guys hear my fan? I hope you can't hear my fan because it's really warm today. So, I have another fan on in addition to the one I normally have. So, Fanny, can you hear it? <laughs> you don't hear it? Okay. Unfalling unbearable. <laughs> oh my god, Chicky, hi. <laughs> How are you doing? I can't hear any of us. Oh my god. Hey, listen! Shit, oh shit, oh no. Iron Shroom. Thank you, Jabo. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> Wait, where am I going here? There's a flower. Oh. I'm doing good, Chicky. How about you? Travis was gifted a Pride Expandable fan from his co-worker. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, it's a Korok. <laughs> Hi. We now have three poops. Oh, God, please. Hey, listen! <laughs> oh, my gosh. Guys, <laughs> Thanks, you, bro. Oh, thank you, guys. I saw that. <laughs> you saw me get yeeted. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, saw you fly. Oh. <laughs> I can't hit by another star. What? A balloon? I don't remember what all these things are for. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Are all of your clips like that, Bran? Are you gonna be like, not that clip? Fuck. Come back! 
What's that? What is this? Why am I fighting with the torch? What is this? Oh, it's sneaky, uh, sneaky river snails. Nut. Brown squeals. Ugh, I want I bet the shrine is up there, but. Hey, my fire went out. Juicy sirloin. Clip is so wonky, that was before I got my mic. <laughs> Man, I remember when, before I got my, this mic here, I sounded so bad on my streams. When are we playing Fallout Boys? I didn't download it yet, Chiki. <laughs> I'm in this limbo of like tired and also not tired at the same time. Are you lying in bed, Jack? I know, I'm sorry, I haven't downloaded <laughs> I do want to play with you guys, I just haven't, I don't have it. I haven't found the time yet. Of course, naked, <laughs> naked Jack. <laughs> You can literally do down now. <laughs> I know, Chicky, I know. <laughs> what are you playing next? Is there a shrine somewhere? I feel like I saw one someplace. Can I make it up this wall? Sometimes I nap with one eye closed and it works. The other eye is usually awake looking at the tick tick. I, you know, I... <laughs> I try not to get sucked into that because I would probably spend too long looking at everything. I feel like I saw a shrine somewhere. I just imagine things. I sent all the fun tick-ticks to Jack. <laughs> tick-tick. Yeah, I, I don't want to get... I already spend enough time on YouTube as it is. As you've been scrolling for way too long. <laughs> oh, there it is. I know I saw something orange. What are those? He hates me for it. I ruined his life. Just like he ruins your life. Re dahi. Jabo knows. <laughs> I'm trying hard not to get into another social media site. I already have to keep up with my Twitter and my Discord servers, and that's plenty. <laughs> It's because we're both very homosexual. <laughs> I will get Fall Guys though, Chiki, I will. I don't know what I should get it for though. What do you recommend? Oh, is it? Is it cross-platform? I turned off email notifications and that was magical. Yeah, I have notifications off for everything. I only check it when I want to check it. It's all cross-play? Okay, okay. I might get it for- what is this one about? A ball? 
Because I'm what verse? Me too. At least I like to think so. Now that it was bought by Epic Games. Okay, cool. I might get it just get it on Switch then. I could get it on PC, but then I'd have to sit at my well. No, I probably would be sitting at my PC when I play with you guys. Oh, I thought so. The little guy dating Goliath. <laughs> Chicky. <laughs> hey, come back. I forgot, I don't need to cook food that's so restorative because... I don't have a lot of health myself right now. I was streaming with Mr. and Mr. yesterday on Fall Guys. Oh. Fall Guys looks really fun. I don't know how good at it I'm going to be, but it does look really fun. <laughs> Drunk parkour. <laughs> There's a chest up there. Oh, bye. Oh, do I have to launch it? You're not good into your part. No, I'm sure, I'm sure I'll play, and it seems like the kind of game that I'll pick up as long as other people are playing it, I will play. You still have yet to win a round? Win. Wait, how do you get this chest? I love the shenanigans. <laughs> it looks like a lot of shenanigans. <laughs> oh, this barrel's there. I see. Okay. Wait, how do I... Oh, there's a ladder. Oh, they're metal. Okay, I got it, I got it. I don't know what I expected with a name like Fall Guys. <laughs> it does look like a lot of fun, and... You know, another game I think it would be fun to play with you guys. Um, but I don't know how many of you have it, but it's that other one about... Um, not an Among Us, but the other one that's kind of like Among Us. But you're on like a ship. Oh crap. Okay, I guess... Can I? Can, can that reach? I can. Oh crap. There we go. A climber's bandana? Oh god. Wait, there's another one? Yeah, it's the one that, other, that like Eric was playing for a while. It's basically the same idea, except it's different graphics, and... You're still trying to kill people, and there's like a bad... Um, there's bad robots, I think, and then... They're trying to, like, trick the other players into... Yes, that's it, Phil. Thank you. <laughs> First class trouble. Thank you. Wait. God damn it. Wait. 
How do I get back up now? Oh, I know. Oh yeah, the, the ladder over here. Hello. Thanks, Jibo. Or, Kira, thank you. Not being the same as Jack. <laughs> okay, yeah. It just looks more, I think, my speed, I guess? It looks just as chaotic and crazy, but... Um... But I don't think that one's as widely available as far as platforms, so Among Us is probably more accessible. I think First Class Trouble might only be on PC, so that would pr limit a lot of people to playing. <laughs> Jivo. <laughs> I meant Kirin. Sorry, your colors are a little similar. You're both a variation of red. Speaking of Eric, we have dinner plans on Saturday, and I'm excited about that. You're green. It's funny, on my screen, on my chat, you're dark red and Jabo is like bright red. What are those over there? These look suspicious. Why do these look suspicious? Aha! Uh -huh. Can you set it to? I think Twitch just randomly assigns colors unless you go into your settings and assign yourself a certain color. So, because for me, I, Kieran is dark red, but then on the bubble, Kieran's a different color too. So, <laughs> I think it's just random. I've set mine to always be pink. So, I forgot what I was doing already. Oh, there's a cracked wall over there. I sent mine to pink too. Yeah, that's why we always confuse Chicky when we're in the chat together with in his stream. <laughs> Ooh, a box. A bow, cool. What? You gotta get more poop. I know, more poop. Oh. Oh no, there's a shrine nearby. Where is it? I bet it's all the way on top of the mountain. I bet that's where it is. I get so easily distracted by stuff in this game.
<laughs> Thanks for the campfire. Perfect, actually. <laughs> I very seldom try to fight things directly in this game. <laughs> I do have a weapon. I'm just trying to be conserve, conserve everything. <laughs> Bombs are weapons, yes. <laughs> what do we got? Oh, a boomerang. Is that considered a, what is that considered, a range weapon? Or a melee weapon, I don't know. Oh, oh, we got it, cool. Okay. Oh, that's bothering me. Where is the shrine? I bet it's up, up there. Can I get up there? At least he's not using magnetism to beat the enemies with random crap. I, I will do that eventually. If there's metal crap lying around, well, if they're like big metal blocks, I'll use those, but... What's that? Boomerang is melee unless you throw it. Yeah. I guess that makes sense. Big twin bridge. Is this a thingy? It is. Oh. A thingy. <laughs> I can't think of the right word. <laughs> There's a box. I don't remember how important all these stones are. I have to go up there. What's up there? more thingies. I forget how this game just like it constantly gives you something interesting to look at just like off in the distance and I have to always I'm always bite I'm like oh I gotta go check that out. I think that's why I ended up playing this game so long. A rusty broadsword. What's this? Smash it. That's it. You cannot type today, it's fine, Jibo. Ash Swamp. Oh, there's a shrine right there. Hello. Wait, what's that? Oh, there's spikes around it. I just realized that. <laughs> Good thing I jumped in. I 
I'm glad the game saves when I do a shrine because I have the I did the anonymous questions thing and someone asked me about Jack. <laughs> it's because you are a couple, Jackie. You and Jack are already a couple. Open your eyes, Link. <laughs> I'm afraid to do that random questions thing. I'm afraid no one's going to ask me anything. You can't say that with Jack here. <laughs> Oh, cryo? Power couple. <laughs> Wait, can I? Oh, I can. Oh, crap. <laughs> Oops. Jack, tell them. <laughs> I guess I have to make more careful steps here. Not the vibration. Oh, there's a chest there. I guess I have to climb up this. I guess for a couple, Jack. <laughs> oh, there's a ball. Everyone willed it into existence. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I can aim it that far? Holy crap. So... Hope you're ready for a lifetime of me kicking your ass at Mario Kart and you eating ketchup. <laughs> oh my god. What did you increase from the last shrine? So my first upgrade I got uh, more stamina. Oh my god, these, these are cool little puzzles. Chicky gotta learn how to play magic to help with playtesting. <laughs> you can't cheat because if you did, you'd be fucking dead. Oh my god. You philandering harlot. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that was it? That was a cool puzzle. You guys really can't hear the fan. Okay, good. Because it looks like my mic, my microphone is responding to it in OBS. But if you guys can't hear it, then that's fine. I'm not dating anyone, silly. 
But you just said you were cheating, Jack. May the goddess smile upon you. You can hear a little fan? Okay, wait. I don't like that you can even hear a little of it. Okay, hopefully that's better. I pointed it towards my feet. <laughs> oh my gosh, Jack. Uh Okay, yeah, that sounds better. That seems better. That has nothing to do with dating. <laughs> I mean, there are lots of different types of relationships out there, so. Oh, is this Beetle? It is. My beetle shaped backpack. I forgot that he's in this game. <laughs> Gemstones. If you're making prawn and I'm not on this track, I'm going to smash your sternum. <laughs> Snap your ulna. <laughs> not your ulna. <laughs> Too late, I don't have any bones. That would be very creepy, Jack. Wait, so he can buy stuff? Oh, he sells arrows too. Cool. You can't use speak aloud? Why can't you? Is something wrong with it? Or did you spend all your points? <laughs> You've already redeemed it? That's weird. Travis fan be like B R R B R R B R R B R R B R R. I'll ruin the whole stream B R R B R R B R R. You're not my dad. B R R B R R B R R. Oh my god. <laughs> when did Earl get here? <laughs> that was a very Earl thing to do, wasn't it? I ate one of those apples that was nice and crisp. Don't you hate it when you bite into a soft apple? Uh... I thought she was gonna get mad at me for taking them. Hey. Dueling steak state Dueling... I can't read today. What do you think of the place? Pretty nice, huh? It might be hard to imagine now, but this place was nearly destroyed about a hundred years ago. I use it when I'm, okay, you know what guys? Sorry, the fan is really bothering me because I know you guys can hear it. Hang on. I'm gonna scooch closer to the table, the desk. <laughs> there. I gotta shift my camera a little bit. Okay, there we go. Dueling stakes. <laughs> Was that a siren? That was a very loud car driving by on the freeway. Or possibly a motorcycle. Kakariko. Ah. 
<laughs> no thanks guys no it just i know there's so much background noise going on in my apartment that i'm just like ugh, it's irritating to me to me it's irritating to me Oh, I forgot you can get horses, too. Do you know about the stable system? I don't, but... Summon them as you please from your network of stables. You may have come across wild horses. If you catch one and ride it to here to register, it'll become your horse. That's right. One person can board up to five horses. I actually don't remember how to do that, either. Should I make popcorn? You know, I'm really sad because we have a box of microwave popcorn, but our microwave is broken, so I can't make it in popcorn. <laughs> Can you send me over some, Jack? Approach from behind. Hop on. Torso writing starts to act up. Try soothing it. We eventually settle down. Okay, I think I remember that. They may take a while for wild horses to get used to being ridden. They may change directions or slow down on their own. Okay, okay. I don't think I've played around with horses that much in this game, honestly. Hi. Uh. I'll be making st <laughs> stovetop popcorn? Oh, cool. Uh. Oh, you have exclamation points. What's that? Uh. Musical's treasure, and it's great. Listen up. can't live without my wig. We've been living without a microwave for like several years now. Because <laughs> ours broke and we just never replaced it. Why does why the fuck does my phone think I'm more likely to say stovepipe? I don't know, Jack. Treasure Hunters on the trail of our latest score, the treasure of the great bandit Misko. It's as good as ours. We're busy here, dude. Dude, if you need something, take it up with someone else. Uh, I love your stove. I <laughs> I'll stove your pipe. Oh my god! All the microwave popcorn, but no microwave. Like that episode of the Twilight Zone where the last guy on Earth finally has all the time in the world to read his books, but he breaks his glasses. Oh god! Was that Twilight Zone? I seem to remember that. Oh, are you gonna? Did someone say pipe? <laughs> I drew. <laughs> hey. How do you always show up at just the right moment? How's it going, Drew? They reference it in Family Guy? Maybe that's where I saw it. Oh, it's Drew's one clip. A doggy. Because you didn't give your wife a name. Peter's last brain cell? Okay, that's probably where I know it from. Gets the name. Can I not get on top? I guess I can't get on the roof. <laughs> Brad does get a name. Arrows, cool. Oh, Rose, thank you for the follow. Brad gets the name. <laughs> Okay. I think I- oh, you have a quest now, too? Excuse me while I commit a war crime. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? No, I don't- I don't want to do that. Sorry, I have to go. <laughs> You just bombed a civilian building, but I didn't damage the building. <laughs> Thank you, Rose. Welcome in. How are you doing tonight? No, oh, I don't I don't want to tame horses right now. Thank you. 
Oh, this is where I'm going. Okay. But there's all this stuff. Doing all right? Welcome in. Thank you for following and for joining the stream. This is my not my this is not my first time playing Breath of the Wild, but it is definitely the first time I've played in like almost four years, I think, which is crazy. Fuller, welcome in. Yes, there is something comforting about Zelda menu noises. I agree. How are you doing tonight, Fuller? I didn't realize you could be charged if you're simply bad at crime. <laughs> wow, Jack. <laughs> So rude already. What's in this forest? I'm curious. Let's have a look around, shall we? I definitely don't want a tree branch. Oh, please. There's something comforting about Zelda. Yeah, I agree. I'm really excited for the sequel to this, which is why we're sh I'm streaming it now. I want to have this fresh in my memory. Shrine nearby? Where? What's over there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting so distracted. Okay, wait, let's let's look around the forest first. We need a borrow link. <laughs> that would be something, would it? There is always a shrine nearby. I guess that's true. <laughs> I'll be so excited when a release date finally gets announced. I know. I don't know when that's going to happen. Hi Cole, welcome in. <laughs> Stopping by for a bit before going to bed. For for at normal hours? That sounds good. You're going to get a good night's sleep then, Fuller. Thank you for stopping in though, before heading off to bed. <laughs> Link side on to be canon, yes. What's that? Ah, he saw me. There is a shrine very close. Where is it? It's probably right over there, huh? I guess we'll see. We're sleeping. Oh wait, there's metal boxes over there. Let's... Oh crap, I woke him up. No! Ow.
Okay. There is definitely. Oh, Jomi, thank you for the raid. Welcome in, Jomi. And Carter and Jazz and Zach. Welcome in, everybody. Or or so or so Clater. I'm sorry if that I pronounced that wrong, but thank you for the first time chat. Welcome in. Hi, everyone. Hey, listen. Honestly, I feel like with these games, if you just don't pay attention, nope, you gotta pay attention. Jomi, read it into the emotes. <laughs> I ask you, welcome in. <laughs> It's okay, I very frequently forget to even do my own raid message, so... Hey, listen! Oh, why did it go? Did you break it, Jabo? Sorry, Tron. You made that great ship for me, and he did oh, a radish. Like, so on. many friendos. I know. Welcome Tron. in, everybody. Get more energy in your body, bro. That's how. That's a good translation right there. Don't let your spirit get your spirit. Come on, bro. Don't. <laughs> yeah. Try. Try it again, Jibo. Carter's clip didn't play. There we go. <laughs> I'm very aware that it's quiet. <laughs> Hi. Oh, there's a big dude over here. Hey, Lynx, welcome in. Oh, that is a boss. I don't think I want to deal with that right now. Nope, nope, nope. That freeze frame on Carter, I know. That was perfect. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I want to deal with this guy right now. No, thank you. Oh, I just noticed that you're talking about your nails. That's going to be exciting. I have to do mine. I haven't done mine again for a long time. Uh, I feel like I shouldn't be here. Hey, listen! Oh my god, I helped! Thanks, Jibo. Oh, ouch. Ow. Hey Matt, welcome in. Oh, that's a bear. Okay, let's go, let's go. <laughs> let's get out of here. Is this your first playthrough? No, it is not my first playthrough. I played through this before, um, and oh my god, I actually did a lot in the game when I played it. But it's it's been like f over four years since I played it last. I finally got a copy back because the original copy I had, I no longer had anymore. So um, now that I have it again, thanks to Kieran, I've been wanting to stream it because we are going to get the second one at some point soon hopefully so 
I wanted to have this more fresh in my memory again, but it's been so long that I really don't remember much. So, I'm kind of like rediscovering things again. And four years is a long time to pass, you know. Ooh, look at that clip. Hi. <laughs> Thanks, Jibo. Miss Shirtless Trey, I, I do too. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. As that usually happens when I played this game before, I'm just getting distracted by everything. But let's... I just kind of want to cross through all these special locations on the way to the village. See what we can find. Oh. Shirtless Dre is still here. <laughs> we want to see it though. That's the thing. That was kind of up close and personal there. Oh, oh I forgot I can cut trees down too. There's so much of the, uh, this game I've forgotten. Like, I don't remember what all these little things do either. That I'm picking up. Hey, there's something up there. Oh, it's on top of the mountain. I feel like if I started playing Breath of the Wild again, cooking would be the hardest thing for me to remember. I know by the time I was um, towards the end of the game, I kind of knew all the good things to cook, so... How the hell did you even see that? No, I just saw like a tiny thing popping up the top of the mountain. I was like, what is that over there? It looks suspicious. I prefer fighting at a distance if I can help it. Ooh, a double axe. Nice. I'm gonna try to start using my weapon since Jack called me out. <laughs> I might as well since they're expendable, right? I won't be able to pick things up otherwise. Well, you did. <laughs> Were you just using... Yeah, yeah, I like to use bombs, so... They're fun. They don't hurt very much, but they're still fun. Just stuck to like one or two because I hoarded the ingredients. Yeah, I, but I don't remember already. I'm tr I'm tr kind of basic learning basic cooking again. So, are one of these alive? Oh, and I used to be so good at deflecting the guardian beams, but I don't think I can do that anymore. I guess I can try, but I used to be a pro at bouncing those beams back. It was so satisfying.
took a lot of practice to learn, though. This looks like a bombable thing. An emblazoned shield. It's better than this piece of junk, I guess. No, don't do that. Don't do that, Link. Oh, did I call monsters? Oops. <laughs> I only used bombs when it was needed. Give me all the pointy things to do the stabby stabby. <laughs> I like fighting from a distance. Um, whenever I can, at least. My bestie is playing this for the first time and they encountered a guardian and, and FaceTime me like, that's exactly what I thought too when I first went into a guardian. Holy crap, they're so scary. Although, once I met a Lionel, I'm like, okay, guardians aren't that scary. <laughs> Freaking Lionels are terrifying. They're a friend, go up and say hi. <laughs> A very lasery friend. They died and hung up on me. <laughs> I mean, if they couldn't figure out that it was dangerous on their own, that's kind of on them. <laughs> Kakariko Bridge, we're almost there. Um, so when we get to the... Oh. Oh, do I have to throw a rock into that? Eh. Not quite. Maybe from here? Oh no! <laughs> I deserved it. <laughs> This guy must be wondering, what the hell are you doing, kid? Oh, crap. Oh, that almost hit me in the- oh, what's this? Some food. Is there an empty bottle here? Oh, hey. Ice arrows, nice. Oh, a cricket. I'm not going to try hard to get every single car in this game, so... This one seems like it's an annoying one and I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a Korok. The first time I played this game, I got every single one. 
And it was not worth it. Thought there was a cheat this one. There probably is an easier way to do it than I'm doing it, so... That stuff you can cook too. Oh, there's so many sparkly things. Oh, crap. Armoranth. Is that for armor? I can't ignore these sparklies, guys. I'm sorry. If I see something sparkle, I'm like, I want it. I forgot how, like, relaxing this... Where's Diamond Cochrane? Oh my god. Ooh, sparkly. Oh, that looks like a cracked rock. I guess I'm not... I'm mistaken. Oh, is this the big dude? Hi. <laughs> I can see you. It's been a hundred years since anyone has been able to see me. Oh, Daniel, thank you for the sub. Thank you for the three months. How are you doing tonight, Daniel? Those monsters over there stole my maracas. I think they're still there on the other side of the rocks. I can't use my powers without them. So please, please get my maracas back from them. Okay. He's so cute. Okay, we're going to do this quest real fast, and then I'm going to go back to just chatting for just a few minutes to do some shoutouts. And then we will return to the game, but... I always forget you have to sneak. I love Hestu. I <laughs> know they're so cute. Is there a queer? There is no queer of the day today, Jomi, but we're going to go revisit all the ones that we've shouted you out. Shall not pass. And shout out some more. <laughs> so. Oh, God. Let's see. They're attacking him. Ow. That's not very nice, guys. Yay. I have a very unconventional way of fighting, I know. <laughs> it works, though. Welcome to the guts. Lovely. Lovely. 
I suck at using bombs. I love- well, I just love the bombs, so I've got really good at using them. Because they're funny. Hey. In the beginning, I used to blow myself up a lot. And then I kind of- uh, then I kind of learned the, uh, how big the radius is. And once I figured that out, it got much easier to use. It's very easy to blow yourself up with the bombs. <laughs> and I had some pretty hilarious moments where I would blow myself off mountains and stuff and just... Not good. There was a very long learning process. Oh, hi Jeremy, welcome in. There's something wrong with my maracas, but... The cork seeds are gone, Oh. If I just had one cork seed. Boobs. <laughs> Boobs. <laughs> move one and move two. <laughs> I get impatient because they don't do much damage. Yeah, they don't do much damage. Um, I just like how they bounce enemies around and stuff. It's really funny. Sniff, do you have a cork seed? I do. I have some poop on me. Here, have some poop. Um, what do I want to increase? Probably my bow stash, because I like bows. How's it going tonight, Jeremy? Yay, some more bow space. Dun, 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 dun. Thank you. I still smell Korok seeds on you. <laughs> Wait, how much? I should probably increase my shields too. Welcome in, everybody. He looks like a big old broccoli. I just organized my toiletry shelf. That sounds like an accomplishment, Zach. I need to get back before Grandpa yells at me. Oh, I still need Korok seeds to bring some to the Korok forest. We did it. Okay, let's take a quick pause. Um, I'd like to do some shouty outies. How do I save? There it is. <laughs> so many menus. Making room for nail polish things? I'm so excited to see that. I've had better days kind of just feeling garbagey. Oh, I'm sorry, Jeremy. I'm doing well today. Thank you. I hope you feel better soon. Um, let me switch over here real quick. Boop, boop, boop. Just chatting. I had to move my camera, so it's all thrown off now. But <laughs> Alphabetizes air fresheners today at 7. <laughs> Um, okay, so since we had raiders and there's more people in here now, I did want to bring up the um, graphic that I made, cover my face for a bit, of all the lovely people I shouted out over the month. And again, the reason I picked these particular people, again, I wasn't trying to leave anyone out, but I, the reason I picked these folks is because they have had positive impacts not only on me, but on the rest of the community and others and other friends that I've seen, that I've experienced with all of these folks so check them all out they're all lovely people and so the names you see there are the stream names they're all streamers so um please go check them out they're all wonderful queer individuals that you need to get to know and have done a lot for me in my life so please go check them out yeah i don't have a new career of the day today because i figured i would go back and go over the the ones we've done for the month so i can't believe june is over already my god so yes all of them are awesome earl drew Jomi, jonathan carter chicky oshi dax phil and eric all lovely people please go check them out follow their streams they do amazing things and i think just the fact that they can uplift us and give us a space to have fun and relax and unwind in these times is really important so yes please go check them out and um 
quiz of the month yes there's no new one today which is why there's no command today but that's i did want to go back and talk about everyone else we've shouted out and also um share this that brand put together for us you all might have seen it on my twitter or in discord the uh, lovely collage that he put together for all the people that i've got to know in my discord that i can consider friends now which i'm so lucky about um there are so many lovely people in this as well so yeah just so many good people and um i just feel so lucky you know i'm looking in a meeting <laughs> that's fine drew thank you for lurking but yes I'm forgetting one. Who am I forgetting, Chicky? I love this picture. Me too. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it pinned in our server for sure. And I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it. I want it to be permanent someplace because it's just a good. It's a good reminder for me about all the yourself. Oh my gosh, Chicky. Of all the uh, lovely folks that I've had gotten the chance to meet, and you know, I'm just incredibly lucky. So. I did want to do a few more shout outs because I know I didn't get to catch everyone as far as um, you're getting your first good look. Yes, it's it's just so nice to see so many diverse queer people that I've gotten to know. So it's I feel very lucky. Um, there are a couple of folks that I want to shout out also that I didn't get to during this month and one of them is a mod in my channel and this is and this is this is not queer people I'm shouting out but Jabo, you are one of the most what is the word you're such a good ally to us and i really respect that and i appreciate that and you have shown that you care about queer people in just the deepest way because i know the past events have really affected you as well knowing kind of what we're being put through and you are totally a good ally jbo so i want to make sure that I say that, you know, allies are important too. True allies, true allies, not ones that just pretend to be. But Jabo is really one of those people who has done a lot for me and also for the community. So, and while I'm at it, another straight ally is talking right now in chat, and Zacharoni and Cheese, another lovely individual that you need to all go check out as well. Zach is a very comforting stream. He loves to play Morrowind. And he is also a very good ally and supports us as queer people and lends us his voice. So I think that's really important because we need that as queer people. We need some straights on our side too, unfortunately. <laughs> but there are good ones out there. So Jibo and Zach are definitely two of them. So please go check them out. Uh, you know, Jibo doesn't stream yet, but he does mod for a lot of folks. So you'll see him around. And uh, let me go give Zach one more quick shout out as well. Um, Oh yeah, sorry, I need to catch up on chat too. My <laughs> bad. Let me catch up on chat. I can safely speak for everyone here when I say that all things that you are equal. Oh, thank you, Chicky. You uplift us and you are genuine and you're so lovely. I I really try my best, Chicky, so thank you. I appreciate that. You know, I'm I'm in a much better place than I used to be, honestly. I think I I think the, the me 10 years ago would not be able to do what I do today as far as being supportive and uplifting. It's I was a different person back then. So I appreciate that. Thank you. And something I think that you all have to remember too, and I, it's something I remember as well. It's I've come far on my own too, you know, but also you all have helped me come far as well. So it's just, I appreciate you all for that. Like without you, I wouldn't be the person I am today. And I know that. So, um, same thing for my husband, it's, you know, without him, I wouldn't be the person that I am today and all of my friends and my mom, you know, I think we're all just a, a, what is the word? A collection of what other people do to help you, you know, because you have yourself, of course, your own strength, but then depending on how things go with the people around you, you know, you can change for better or for worse. And I'm just lucky to have so many good people and I appreciate you all. So, um, I'm not trying to take attention away from Jabo and Zach. No, it's Chicky. Thank you. I appreciate that. I have a hard time taking compliments. That's something that my therapist and I have been working through. So, but thank you. A lot of people wouldn't be here if it weren't for your cute vibes. So thank you. I appreciate that. Grandia. Oh, did Grandia come up in the clip? I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> Truly honored that you feel that way. No, Zach, you have been great. Like, I really appreciate that. And it's... I think for you and Jabo. 
it's not just performative right you folks really do care about queer people and you've kind of learned and immersed yourself in our culture and you're you, sh you definitely don't show any discomfort which is really nice you know you just kind of you've just become part of this this family and that's that's all we can ask for you know that's we just need people who can understand us and speak for us when we need a voice so it's much appreciated oh zach you were streaming grandia i love grandia grandia is so good not me shedding a tear to all this kindness yeah you all are so you're all are so very kind zach and jaybo are quite literally the best heterosexuals on the planet they're they're amazing people so but like i said it's important for us to have those straight allies because you know as much as we have a nice huge family here now of queer people we're still a minority so we need people on the other side to help us too unfortunately but in this case fortunately because zach and jaybo are just amazing um okay and in addition to that i do want to shout out a few other folks too and i'm going to stop and do this a couple more times but um i'm not sure if jazz is still here but jazzworth is definitely worth shouting out um i'm going to ask you soon jazz i think i what was that i'm gonna ask you soon jazz for you know what's Listen. nice about emotes i think my, like, so MMR. everyone um, sucks oh like me <laughs> <laughs> Jazz is another lovely person that I have not gotten to catch enough stream of, streams of. I'm sorry, Jazz. You always raid me and everything, and I never get to catch your streams. Stupid time zones. But Jazz is a lovely artist. I know for a fact that he's done Earl's emotes, which are super cute. I have some empty follower emote slots that I'd like to fill up, so I think I will be asking you soon, Jazz, um, for some emotes when... Um, when I can so I'm not sure if you're still here but yes please go check out Jazz lovely person um, another person that was here Matt was here earlier but I'm going to shout out their shared accounts um, I did it again I can't think today there we go very square too matt and jason are two lovely individuals that i've had the chance to meet very <laughs> they have fun chaotic energy very fun streams to hang out in um also just two very good genuine people so if you have a chance to go check them out hang out with them they're also very very amazing people so but yeah just i'm again i'm trying to get to all the people that i didn't get to shout out earlier uh we're gonna do one more um if you haven't got a chance to check out, I hope I get this right. Um, hey, there you know, we go. If it wasn't for the me. constant kink, I kink can roll would be very daddy. <laughs> oh my god. Not calling out the constant pink eye, but Danny and Jesse from Bear Pair Gaming are also very amazing people. Go check them out. Their streams are fun. They like to do lots of retro stuff, and you know Danny is frequently shirtless on the stream, so that's a plus. <laughs> so go check out these people, amazing queer creators. Go check them out. Give them some support. Show them some love. Spread it around. That's what we do, right? So, but yeah, I have quite a few more people I'm going to shout out. So. I want to be hugged until my head pops. Well, I'll do that, but not without the head popping, Chicky. Oh, thank you, Daniel. Through thick and tan, good and bad, we love you, Travis. Thank you, Daniel. I appreciate that. So much love. That way I can feel the love and die. <laughs> no dying. <laughs> yes so much love i do i do love each and every one of you honestly the folks that have become part of my circle uh my friend circle through streaming just i appreciate you all very much i'm so excited to meet all of you one day speaking of i'm very excited because i have a dinner date with sikkim eric this weekend he asked me out i'm very excited about that so <laughs> i finally get to meet him That's gonna be fun, I know, it'll be fun. I know, I think at some point, I don't remember what his particular plans are, but I don't know if at some point they're gonna move back to the mainland, they might, so. If that's the case, I need to see him as much as possible before that happens. But, you made popcorn? 
Jack, it took you that long to make popcorn. <laughs> oh, you were doing it on the stovetop, that's right. Dinner date, yes. And we're going to um, one of my favorite Japanese restaurants just down the road from us, so he's willing to drive out a little farther than where he lives, which I appreciate. I didn't start when I mentioned it before. Oh, I see. <laughs> Definitely take pics. Yes, I have to. We have to break the internet, as Earl would say, by sharing pics with us together. Eric's a busy man, so I'm glad. I, I'm glad that he found some time for me. I appreciate. I appreciate that a lot. But all right, we're gonna um, actually. What I'm gonna do now is we're gonna take a quick. I'll take a quick break and run some ads I'm sorry for the ads but that'll stop the pre-rolls for anyone coming in um but i'll take a quick break get some more water do a stretch and then we'll get back to more breath of the wild so we have to bring each other up there can be so much animosity and acceptance in our queer communities yes so what you've done by shouting everyone out and uplifting everyone is quite honestly such a fantastic idea and only someone as creative as you well thank you chicky i appreciate that stay cool see you next year Y'all, if you can, like, somehow make it down here to visit me, I would so appreciate it. I know it's so expensive to come here, though, but if you can, though, <laughs> it would be much appreciated. But alright, I'll be back in three minutes. Hang tight.
Okay, I'm back. This song comes up in people's streams a lot, and I like it. Oh, so that song is from uh, Katamari Damashi. So <laughs> that is that is a good song. If you guys have not played Katamari, you have to play that game because it is hilarious and crazy, but also very fun. And all of the music in the game is very good, so very Japanese-y pop, pop song music. It's really good. I think it's on sale actually on the Switch right now, if you want to get it. <laughs> it's not a bap no <laughs> I can't even say that, Chucky. <laughs> Schlossdinkt. Katamari, Katamari Damashi is kooky, it's so Japanese, but the concept is really interesting and it's a lot of fun. Although if you get motion sick, I think some people might have a hard time because it's you're focusing on a rolling ball for like the whole game, but <laughs> it's a lot of fun. No, it's not an Animal Crossing song. In fact, I should buy it on Switch because I wanted to get that version and then stream it for you guys. It's it's I don't know how to describe it honestly. It's really its own thing. Because the premise is well, I won't even explain the premise because it's crazy, but if the premise is that you're the gameplay is you're this little dude and you have a ball and you roll the ball around these locations like inside houses, inside towns, in different locations, and the ball picks things up, kind of like a lint roller I guess, and as it gets bigger, it can pick up bigger and bigger things. And that's the whole point of the game is you roll the ball around and you pick up things until the ball gets humongous. And it sounds very simple, but it's very satisfying. I'm a little dude with balls. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> and there are some stages where the ball gets so big that you can pick up buildings and cars and trees and mountains. <laughs> so It's funny. Did someone say balls? <laughs> right on cue, Drew comes back. Hi Drew, welcome back. <laughs> My balls can only pick up dudes. <laughs> you always come right on time. <laughs> uh, you are you already you always come precisely when you mean to, Drew. Come on, Chicky, you're. It's not a secret that we all want that from Drew, okay? It's not a secret. You don't have to pretend like you don't want it. <laughs> Anytime you come is the perfect time. <laughs> we being thirsty now. It's hard not to be when Drew's around, Jumpy. <laughs> I love that I'm on the clock working during this. <laughs> I seem to have twisted my ankle. Oh no. I'm literally in a meeting right now. I'm <laughs> just being respectful. <laughs> I look away for one second. It's because we were talking about balls. I was in a Jew and Jonathan sandwich, and that makes so much sense. <laughs> in your French vanilla fantasy. <laughs> oh my god. Well, Jomi, now we know your true thoughts. Sandwich. Is this my camera? Do we have some time left? <laughs> I'm not gonna sing, don't worry, I'm not singing. I don't want to expose y'all to that. <laughs> Daddy Mary, welcome in. Hi Mary, welcome in. How are you doing tonight? I was in the end of my row of delicious meat sticks. <laughs> At the end of the train. Take them one up to the other. Menage toi. 
<sighs> did I stumble into Drew Love? Yes, you did. Lots of Drew Love today. <laughs> This stream is about Travis love. <laughs> it's not. This stream is supposed to be about love for all of you all. That's what it's for. So please carry on. <laughs> Where is Lady Impa? I can't even focus on this poor old grandma right now because y'all are making me blush. <laughs> Un, deux, trois. Escargot. <laughs> Oh my god, y'all are cracking me up. What's going on in chat today? <laughs> Why aren't we talking about me? Jack, we're always talking about you. I can draw a diagram of Eiffel Towering. <laughs> oh my god. I'm going to go into the village now. <laughs> of course Earl shows up too now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I can't keep up with chat today. I'm sorry, you guys are cracking me up, but I can't. <laughs> I went to bed at 8 30 p.m. <laughs> Hi, Earl. Oh, she's cute, this grandma. I am let tired. I mean, if I was in a meeting, I'd be tired, too. Earl Daddy. Earl Daddy's here. I need that clipping as an alarm. Yeah, we need that song, Earl. You need to release a single. I'm 2 p.m. here in Tokyo. Oh, well, I guess everybody's sleeping. It's nighttime. Just coming into the house. It's a mighty fine pumpkin. You'll get in big trouble if you take it with permission. What? Earl is here. Hi, Dad. <laughs> this video is almost 20 years old. Sadly, I don't know what you guys are talking about. It's going over my head. Don't mind me. Let me just watch you sleep. <laughs> That's a clothing store. Ooh. Welcome to Enchanted, my high-end boutique. By the by, that stealth chest guard over there is highly recommended. While you wear it, your footsteps are nearly soundless. Hmm. Seven hundred rupees. I don't have that kind of money.
Hey, that's a circle of something over there. How dare you trespass on Lady Impa's abode? Is that a Sheikah slate? But that would mean you're... No, it's not possible. Can it be? Please for forgive us for behaving so rudely. Of course we have heard the legends from Lady Impa herself. Please, friend, go ahead and step inside. Wait, I want to go over here first. Oh. This one's missing an apple. Wait, I always forget how to do my... There we go. <laughs> There's so many menus. <laughs> I have no idea what you all are talking about, so I'm just going to let you all chat because <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Wait, I want to get over here. What is over here? That's definitely something. Oh god, don't drown. Okay, good. Oh! Oh, I only have three. A man? Is that... It's a Sheikah Slate. Could you be the hero my grandmother told me about? What was his name? It's not that I forgot. I'm just bad with speaking. As for me, my name is... Are you nervous? My name is Baya. Phew, I got it out. This is how I interact with men that I don't know too. I know I should be able to say that easily, seeing as how it's my own name and all. Did somebody say a man? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Anyway, my grandmother's been awaiting a return ever since I was little. Please hurry inside. Okay, there's nothing around there. Let's go inside. Oh, voice acting. I'm gay. Me too, Earl. <laughs> I don't know what anybody's talking about right now, but I like it. <laughs> I'm glad y'all have things in common there. What's the matter? You're looking at me as though I'm a stranger to you. Those eyes, they lack the light of familiarity. It is I, Courageous One, Impa. Surely you must at least remember the name Impa? I do. So you have lost your memory. Well, it matters not. In fact, that they may, that may actually be a blessing in disguise for the time being. Dearest Link, please come a bit closer. I personally believe that you, S, Americans are unable to do so because, ah, uh, some, ah, uh, people out there in our nation don't have maps and, ah, uh, I believe that our education what, like such as in from? South Africa and uh, the Iraq, everywhere like such as, and I believe that they should, our education over here in the U.S. should help the U.S., comma, uh, 
Paul, uh, should help South Africa and should help the Iraq It does something like something Irwin put in. <laughs> so we will be able to build up our future for our children. What was that? It didn't even show up in chat. I have no idea what that was. U.S. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> Y'all are causing chaos today. After you fell, Princess Zelda's final wish was to place you in a sacred slumber. And then, all alone, alone she went to face Ganon. Thank you for the sub, Common. <laughs> Thank you for the Prime sub. How are you doing tonight, Common? Before Princess Zelda went to nobly meet her fate, she entrusted me with some words she wished to say to you. I've been waiting a hundred years to deliver the princess's message. A hundred years? However... Hey, listen! Thanks, Shibo. My apologies. <laughs> I'm telling you, the your biggest enemy in this game is the environment. Nobody look. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. What? Are you prepared to risk your life for the greater good? Sure. That's what Link does. And they willed it into existence. <laughs> really old clip. I love how she's sitting on three pillows. I need that level of comfort. The history of the royal you guys couldn't ship me with literally anyone else? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Do you know what these are, Ashley? K A T C H A D O R I A N! Exclamation mark! These are a little girl's arms, a little girl with dreams, with legs, with a head. She's a pencil. She's a swizzle stick. You can use her as a pool noodle. And now I'm holding up her arms. I love. <laughs> I love when it spells it out. <laughs> they don't even try. Not him saying noodle the same way I do. I mean, <laughs> it is an Australian person, Drew. Was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Even Nerdle. Our nar. Nardles. <laughs> Boil some nardles. Who was born in 18, 1989? Earl. I hope you're kidding because I was born six years before that. <laughs> Shut up, 1672. <laughs> I would like to reestablish my role as baby. I think you are, Jomi, unless Cole is still here. If Cole is still here, you're not, baby. Upon Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule, Grandmama Jomi. <laughs> I have no chance of being baby. You know, honestly, I think I'm the oldest one in here. Pretty sure. Oh no, maybe Jabo is a little older than me. A little bit. 
We're the dads. Yes, we're definitely the dads. Jabo is dad is dad, I think. When the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivers. I'm only a baby in spirit, which is to say not at all. Oh my god, Earl. <laughs> I missed baby by three years. Oh yeah, Joby Joby. J Boy, you're you're only a little bit older than I am. No wait, wait. You'll be thirty nine in September? You are only older by me than me by like two months then. I'm weird, aunt. <laughs> You're cool, aunt Mary. Oh my god, I can't keep up with y'all today. As of August, I'll be closer to 40 than 30. I've been closer to 40 for a while, Zach. Don't worry about it. I'm a thousand years old at this point. Eldritch died. You know, we might as well be Drew. We're just gonna have to preserve ourselves by stealing souls or something, you know? I can't imagine getting more than five likes. Chicky. <laughs> but all your selfies are so cute. Jabo and Jomi ship name established. <laughs> Joby. There was a stupid SNL skit that I think that is my future. Uh oh. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Earl being popular and Drew being hot. Oh, <laughs> got chicky. You're hot and popular too. Dang it. Jabomi. Let me log into my ults. <laughs> I don't know what family member I am, but I'm glad we are family. What would Zach be? Zach kind of has dad vibes too, I think. Uncle, yes, uncle vibes. <laughs> Shapoopy. <laughs> That's another family guy thing. It's one of my, like, mom's weird friend who is old and single and goes on wild vacations by herself and no one knows what her deal is. <laughs> New skincare routine unlocked. The hopes and dreams of others all over your face. <laughs> Uncle Hot Dangus. Oh my god. Cool uncle that gives out cassette tapes. <laughs> That's perfect. I use the blood of virgins. <laughs> The souls. That sounds expensive. <laughs> I'm definitely baby. Yeah, Jomi, I think you are baby for sure. Everyone else is like mid to late 30s in here, or some early 30s. Four divine beasts. Only Gerber babies have that one. <laughs> Don't call me a mid 30. I didn't call you that. There's early 30s in here too, I said. <laughs> I'm definitely in my late 30s at this point. I'm the Thanti, non binary auntie. Oh, I love that word. <laughs> I love that, or so. At the family gathering that sneaks all of the underage kids just a sip of alcohol. <laughs> My mom stuck me beer when I was young, too, so. I'm a less than half 70. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, we have some new objectives. Jackie. <laughs> Travis said so. I mean, you guys basically are at this point, you know what I mean? <laughs> we 
You're always... <laughs> Sorry. Uh. Oh, I can read her diary. Team Jackie. This is any me. <laughs> oh. I guess we won't read her diary when she's sitting right there. I don't want to be my cousin. <laughs> Wait, what? I ship it. <laughs> See? Endorsements all around. Okay. What else can I do in this village? Where is Hateno? Oh, it's over there. What's up here? Can't I put stuff on the map? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see what's up there. Curious. Wait, what's happening now in chat? I don't know what's happening anymore. I can't keep up with y'all today. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> what is that shiny thing? I'm just shipping. We're shipping out. What oh, apple? <laughs> Stairs and spouse. <laughs> oh, are we coupling everyone else to now? <laughs> this chat is shivering my timber. <laughs> Oh my god. If only Jack's pussy is super magical. Oh, okay, what is happening now? Common is hiding. Probably a smart thing to do at the moment. <laughs> oh, wait. I thought I was going to get a little break. Crap. Oh no. Okay, good. There was probably an easier way to get up here, but... <laughs> Batten down the hatches. Yeah, we all become pirates today. Oh, there's a shrine thing over there. Oh, I bet we need Impa's ball for that. Cool. Oh, Orso, thank you for the follow. <laughs> thank you for hanging out in chat tonight, too. I appreciate it. My chat is not always this lively, but, you know, I appreciate all of you being here tonight and interacting. It's a lot of fun. Hey, what's that? I saw something orange. Oh. You are not the worst, Orso. Thank you for the follow. Oh, what's this? What is Jack if not a hole for poles and pizza rolls? <laughs> uh. <laughs> I don't know what's going on today. I love you guys. I, I don't know what's happening anymore. Hey, listen! <laughs> Thanks, Chapo. You always keep that in your pocket, don't you? Just to throw up randomly. Burnt and dumbass oven roasted hollowed up. <laughs> My god, here we go with that conversation again. <laughs> My roommate will cook pizza rolls and suck the filling out and then throw away the crust. Excuse me? <laughs> that is blasphemy.
Yeah, the crust is so yummy. That's so weird. That's that is that's true chaos. That's like chaotic evil going on right there. I have a toaster oven and I can't even buy pizza rolls. I'm oppressed. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Zach. <laughs> You know, I haven't had a pizza roll in a hell of a long time. Is he a pizza vampire? That's what it sounds like. What's that over there? Is that a shrine? Wait, what's this? Thank heavens for pop tarts. I like pop tarts too. Oh, it's a fairy. It's a fairy. A fairy. I've never had a pizza roll. Oh, you've never had a pizza roll. I mean, they're good. I think the bagel bites are better. Ooh, bagel bites. Oh, I didn't stretch. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jeremy, I just remembered you redeemed a stretch. Thank you. Sucks cheese instead of dick. Oh, what? what? It's a fairy talking to chat. Yeah, <laughs> it's, chat's full of fairies tonight. Oh, and speaking of fairies... <laughs> <laughs> Hi, John. If they're called pizza rolls, why are they square? That's a good question. Oh, bagel bites. I have not had bagel bites in forever. I'm, I forgot about those things. I'm also a Capri Sun. <laughs> pizza rolls. Now I want pizza rolls. Wait, can I? What is this? Pizza hole and stoner boyfriend is literally the worst pairing anyone could ever make. They will always fight about being right at trivia and ruin each other's life. The end. <laughs> That's their destiny. <laughs> Oh, fairies. Sunny D. <laughs> oh my god, Sunny D. You guys are bringing up stuff I have not thought about for a long time. I didn't really drink Sunny D growing up. Daddy D. That's true. That's right. That's true. Daddy D. Tang? Oh, t Tang is another thing I didn't really had gr have growing up. Oh my god, Earl. <laughs> oh my god. Tampico. They brought back the Snapples from the mid-90s. So I remember... I guess, was it the mid-90s? But I remember going to... Was it Snapple that had the big... Like teas or drinks, and they all had like cool different labels and flavors. I think one was like called Rain or something that I really liked. Man, I'm really Australian right now. Y'all are just saying words. <laughs> Sorry, Drew. Vegemite. <laughs> Weirdly thick juice. I didn't have that before either. Rain, fire, etc. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I remember. I think I liked Rain. Kinder Surprise. <laughs> Does anyone here in the PNW know where I can get fruit punch snapple? I wish I was in the PNW. Fairy bread? I learned that Australians like natto because it tastes close to Vegemite. Does it really? I've never had Vegemite. Natto is an acquired taste. I like it, but it's definitely an acquired taste. What is fairy bread? Please explain what fairy bread is. Natto sushi rolls are... I really enjoy natto, but I grew up eating it, so... It's an acquired taste. Fairy bread is wild? What is it? Fear and fear travelers arrive. Oh, it's a fairy. I need rupees to become whole again. A hundred rupees? 
I don't have enough. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't have enough. I only have eighty. I'm sorry. It's just like very cute. Oh, bread with sprinkles, toast with butter and sprinkles. Interesting. Sprinkles on bread, toasted. Fairy bread is when my husband comes to bed at. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I saw it in the mouth that is the texture of fairy bread. I'm gonna have to look this up now. Highly recommend a Google image search. Okay, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna look at right now because I am curious. Oh god, my screen is so bright. Fairy bread. Interesting. This is fairy bread? I have never seen anything like this. Wait, hang on. How do I do this? Do, 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 do. Uh, properties. This is fairy bread. Oh, crap. No, don't go. Come back. That's so interesting. <laughs> this is like horrible on my layout, but. Hmm. I would have never known. How many days does it take to derail a streamer? <laughs> you guys have completely derailed me. <laughs> That's very interesting. I've never seen that before. We're gonna have to find some fairy bread in Breath of the Wild now. Is that something you guys can buy pre-made over there, or is that something you just make? Is there a shrine here? Oh, good night, Daniel. Have a good night. Everyone say goodnight to Daniel. I'm sorry, I'm like missing everybody. Can it be gluten free? I don't think I like the sound. So is that just something you make then? It's not something you can buy like off the shelf? That's so interesting. Horrible school lunch pictures? There is a shrine around here. Where is it? It's very close by. Oh, it could be that one that I can't get to, though. But no, wait, I swear I saw something orange somewhere. The hot dog with sprinkles? I'll put all the American things in my mouth when I come and visit. Don't make promises you won't keep, Drew. What about cinnamon toast? Ooh, cinnamon toast sounds good too. Where was that other orange thing I saw? Crap. And now it's daytime so I can't see anymore. Pan dolce. It got no. F it's got no flavor. I have the ones that are not activated yet. Do not trigger the radar. Okay, thanks, Jack. There, there is a there is a strain here. Then where is it? I swear I saw an orange thing, and now I don't know where I saw it. It's bothering me. Sandwich, bread, and sprinkles. There is a path from the fairy fountain. Just follow it back towards the town. Oh, okay. Thanks, Shomi. Because I, I was walking on top of the mountain at night, and I was like, I saw a, a shrine. 
Did someone say the curve? <laughs> Oh, is it literally, like, right on the side of the path? <laughs> we love girth- we love- we love a good girth, I guess. Oh yeah, it's right here. I knew I saw this from up there. Thanks, Jomi. <laughs> I'm like, I saw an orange glow somewhere. I got to use the word girthy at work today. <laughs> In what context? I'm curious. I did all the shrines in my last playthrough. Thanks, Shomi. Yeah, I, th I think what I'm going to do for this playthrough is just... The only thing I'm going to get all of is the... Sh I want to try and get all the shrines. I'm definitely not going for all of the seeds, because that's ridiculous and not worth it. All the shrines, the four divine beasts, and the end. I think that'll be the plan. Why am I like this? Why are you guys like this? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> I literally wasn't horny or needy or boy crazy until I came here with all of you insane homosexuals. <laughs> oh, Chicky. I wish you were. we were all closer together, so, you know. As a whole, I'm offended. <laughs> Ooh, a shield of the mind's eye. Don't mind if I do. My default is horny. <laughs> I learned something about Drew just now. Eightfold blade. Ooh. I love the thirst here. <laughs> One of my... <laughs> One of my friends, Kelly, she's amazing, she's lovely, um, but she watches a lot of my YouTube videos after I upload them and she's like, I love your streams, they're so cozy and, and comforting, and your chat is so thirsty, it's so fun. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. It's like, I promise I'm not enabling it most of the time. Seals of the Mind's Eye sounds like a chastity belt for bottoms. <laughs> Strafe, jump, target enemy. Okay. Wait, isn't there a way to do, like, good dodges? Right? I thought there was a way to do, like, a... Yeah. That's right. Almost mentioned. <laughs> okay, but are you leaving for real, Chucky? <laughs> ditto is also horny. I mean, what do you use Ditto for, right? Enjoy your wet dreams. <laughs> oh, they're trying to teach me how to fight here. Okay, Chucky, we'll see you when you get back. Oh, I forgot you could do that. You can repel an attack if you parry with your shield just at the right time. Parry with A, okay. That's how you deflect the beams, too. Oh, yes. It's almost two, I wanted to go to bed at midnight. Okay, Jeremy, thank you for hanging out. I hope you feel better soon. Everyone say goodnight to Jeremy. Prepare and unleash a powerful attack. Boyfriendsons. All the boyfriendsons. I want as many as possible. <laughs> Ooh. I, until this very moment, I forgot you could do all of those things. Crap. Oh, 
poly queen. There are some advantages to being poly, that's for sure. <laughs> Wait, do I have to get rid of stuff now? I need a bigger inventory. I want the sword though. How do you forget? <laughs> Check. It's it's been four years since I've played this game, Jack. That's how I forgot. I go back to games I haven't played in fifteen years. Oh <laughs> well that means your memory is too good, Jack. Which also means you have an advantage because when I get old I'm probably gonna forget everything. Memory is a nightmare for me. Yeah, I, well, I have good long-term memory for some things, but a lot of stuff... Like, if I haven't played a game for a while... Unless it's a game that I played a lot as a kid, like Super Mario RPG, for example. I just... I forget stuff that happens in the game. And especially Breath of the Wild, I haven't played it for four years, so... A lot of my childhood favorite games I'll play every year, you know, again, so... But... This one is just... My memory for everything else is ass, though. <laughs> you need to train your brain, brain better than Jack. I can remember dates and stuff very well. Yeah, certain things for me I can remember. I can remember people's names a lot. I'm not so good with dates. Um, I remember a lot about people. I do, me too. I think I tend to remember like random things about people. Not everything, but I'll remember some random things that even they might not remember, and it's like... I just remember certain things, you know? I can never- I'm bad with dates. I had my credit card number memorized at one point. I did too! I got a new card recently though, so I completely don't remember anymore. New clothes, new outfits. I have no money. I'm sorry. My cuckoos. My precious cuckoos. Cuckoos. Cuckoos? They haven't come home. Oh, I don't want to go find your cuckoos. Cuckoos? Cuckoos? How do you pronounce that? I don't know. Is there a sign up sheet for a date? <laughs> oh my goodness, Karen. Cuckoo? Cuckoo. I used to be really good at movie quotes. Uh, I'm not so good at movie quotes, although I don't watch up that many movies. Something else that I tend to remember a lot of is music, especially from games. I guess I'll go find them for you. It's not timed right. Okay, good. Cuckoos? <laughs> Sounds like kinky cereal. <laughs> I can never get a semi-new experience with the game I've played even if I wait forever yeah that's interesting because like you know when I go back to this game for sure I've forgotten like well this game is vast too but even like when I revisited Monster Rancher Jack I'm like I had to relearn everything you know I, I didn't remember all the different things so um Do I get anything for helping this guy, or is he just going to give me some crap? Yeah. <laughs> Eat your cocoa nuts. <laughs> okay, um... You know... <laughs> You have conquered the shrines, yes. I think I want to do hearts this time. I need more health. I remember how to unlock every monster, Jack, that's insane. Any Xenoblade fans managed to grab a special edition? Oh, I saw that lots of people weren't able to get one today, fairy. Me and Sumumu? Oh, Carter got one? Yay. 
I saw that it kind of sold out really quick, or there were some issues with the ordering, so... Gokai Gauntlet. Yeah, Gokai Gauntlet too. I think at first they thought they didn't, and then somehow magically they did, so... That's cool. Uh, let's see... I want to explore all these places, but at the same time, I'm kind of like... Because the quest wants me to go there. Um, maybe, yeah, let's, let's, let's poke around here, why not? Don't get me started on Pokemon. <laughs> I got one the first round, and I'm only, only one I know who got one then. Oh. My knowledge is not encyclopedic. Yeah, I'm sure you know a lot about Pokemon. Let's poke around here. <laughs> I'm trying to go into Scarlet and Violet as blind as possible. Me too. I like going into Pokemon games blind. I can't wait to play with y'all though when it comes out. It's going to be so much fun. I hate that in my ripe old age I have to stare at some of the newer Pokemon to remember their names. I I frequently forget the newer generation ones. I'm I'm much better with the older generations. But a lot of the newer ones don't stick with me, so I don't even know if we have to go this way, but I'm just curious. Like what what's this way? What is this way for us to find? I feel this way too deeply. <laughs> no, I, I have a hard time with the newer ones, but you can tell me a Pokemon and I can tell you basically everything about it. That's I love that though. That's really awesome. Staka Taka? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> Are you making things up? I also know way too much about Magical Girl Enemy. That's something I really don't know much about at all, sadly. Oh, that's a cool view of the castle from here. Middle stages of the newer ones. I can never remember the middle stages either of any of the Pokemon, except again the older ones. But even the older ones, like... I don't remember. My brain when I look at one of the Ultra Beasts. <laughs> I don't remember any of the Ultra Beasts. Hey, there's a shrine there. There's lots of shrines over there, but this is not where I'm supposed to be going right now. Oh, it's an Ultra Beast? Cat, I couldn't tell you any of them, honestly. <laughs> what is happening? Faramosa as a serve. Is that the one that looks like a cockroach? Yes, okay, see, I can't remember some of them. <laughs> I guess there's really nothing here. I don't really want to go off the beaten path too much yet because I'm going to get so distracted like I already have been. Uh, excuse you.
Guzzlord. Oh, Guzzlord's pretty cool. I remember that one. He's the one with the big mouth, right? That guy I remember. That shrine on the top of the mountain is bothering me. I might have to go grab it. If I can. I don't know if I can. Oh, shit. No, nope, no, we're not ready for that yet. Nope, nope, nope. Oh. <laughs> Run. Oh. No, thank you. No, thank you. Not yet. I am not ready for that yet. <laughs> Holy crap. One of my friends uses Guzzlord in their alt username. <laughs> so the Pokemon is forever that to me now. Sinistral2099, welcome for- thank you for the raid. Welcome, raiders. How are you doing tonight? And a great account it is. Oh boy. Welcome in. Mariana Mariana, welcome in. Thank you for the thank you for the first time chat. And Sinistral, thank you also. How was your stream? What were you playing? Let me give you a shout out. Hey, listen! Oh, you're playing Breath of the Wild. Awesome. <laughs> Grid Monster. Welcome in. How y'all doing? This is not my first playthrough of Breath of the Wild, but it certainly feels like it because it has been a minute since I played. Oh, original Legends of Zelda. Awesome. Working through a replay of Master Mode. Very cool. So when I first played this, when it first came out, I played it so much that I completed the game entirely, including getting all of the stupid Koroks. Um, but then my former friend borrowed the cartridge from me and I never got it back. So I have been without Breath of the Wild for, you know, about four years now. And now that I finally have it back, thanks to a generous gift, I am playing it again because I know that we are soon, soon, hopefully going to get a sequel. So I wanted to have a more recent experience with this game under my belt before then. And of course, I've been wanting to stream it, so it's a good excuse to do that. But welcome in, everyone. Thank you. And I hope your your Master Mode play has been going well. I could never bring myself to get all 900. I did with the guide because I really wanted to, and then the reward was like, why did I bother to do this? <laughs> <laughs> Breath of the Wild 2 is also my reason for a replay. Excellent. Uh, I don't want to deal with that guardian right now. No, thank you. I'm ch nope. Well, it obviously wants me. Oh, I don't think I want to go all the way over there. Let's let's work back here. Let's be safe. And we're having a, a healthy Pokemon conversation in chat right now, too, apparently. <laughs> I'm very excited for the new games to come out later this year. The last Pokemon game you played was Emerald? Oh, wow. I really like your chat widget. May I ask what you use? Yeah, it's called... Um, oh, gosh. <laughs> what is it called? Hang on, hang on. I'll get it, I'll get it. It's through stream elements. 
and it is called um, what is it called again? Chat. It's called Chat Bubbles by Zaytree. 2.93. Yeah, so it's on Steep Stream Elements. It's a widget. I like it too. It's very like. Oh, thank you, Jomi. <laughs> Jomi's the one who showed it to me. So, thank you. I need a better chat system. I use a little idiot window. <laughs> I mean, Earl, your your setup is very uh, your, your style though. It's really cute. Do you think there will be a new evolution? That would be really cool. We haven't gotten one since what, Sylveon? And that was back on X and Y, was it? If my memory serves me right. Or was there another one after that? Thank you for the follow, Brid. Brid. Last was in Gen 6, okay. Okay, I'm wandering aimlessly at this point, but it's because my stream is almost ending and I want to, like, get to a good point. But I think, let's just hang out at the shrine here and I'll save. And then I'm going to switch back to chatting for a little while and do some more shoutouts and close up. The Galar one is... I, I like the Galar Meowth. Sylveon is tied for my least favorite. <laughs> I don't... Oh, I don't know where I would really rank all of my evolutions, but... What would Link starter Pokemon be? <laughs> Honedge? Honedge would make sense. Okay. I think this is a good place to save. I feel like we didn't accomplish a whole lot today, but that's okay. We're doing lots of shout outs today and lots of conversations, so it's alright that we didn't make much game progress. <laughs> it's fine. At least we got to Kakariko Village. That's something. I'm going to head off, heading to the movies. Okay, Drew, thank you for hanging out. Everyone say goodnight to Drew. I accomplished fairy bread. I've learned what fairy bread is. That's true. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> Just talking a bunch, yeah. I'm trying to make progress because I do eventually want to get through Breath of the Wild before, um, before whenever we get the new one, but I think it's going to take me like 20 streams probably at least to get through everything. A super fun stream as always. Oh, thank you for thank you everyone for making it a fun stream. You all make the stream very delightful, honestly. <laughs> oh god, so bright. Stop. Let's move this on this side so I can get rid of some of that brightness. Okay, good. Now I want to test these chat bubbles. They're really I like these chat bubbles. They're cute, and the reason I got them, well. One of the reasons I got them, besides the fact that they're cute, is I could get rid of the whole chat box. Because um, I I felt like my layout was too cluttered, so I really... I started putting too much on my layout, and I was like, oh man, it's so cluttered right now. So what I did lately was try to just strip it down. So I got rid of the chat box, I got rid of all the little windows with, um, you know, the last whatever. Oh wait, did it, did it go away? Um, Oh no, there it is. Yeah, so I tried to get rid of all the different windows and really simplify it, but... A bug or dragon type? A dragon type evolution would be really cool. That would be awesome. Alright, so, a few things before we end. Um, I did want to again share the block out my face for a moment. The queers of the day that I shouted out over the past month, a very lovely collection of queer people that I have so much, what is the word? 
I'm trying to, what am I trying to say? That I'm so lucky to have in my life, honestly, and to be able to call them friends. So thank you all for not only what you do for me, but what you do for your communities and for queer people in general. You know, I think all of you on this particular screen here have um, done so much, not only for me, but for other people. And that's kind of the reason I chose all of you as well, because your influence extends way beyond yourselves. And, you know, it's just you take care of people you love people you know you make people feel welcome you're all amazing so that's the reason you're on this list and i really appreciate you all so thank you again for being amazing people go follow all of these people all of the ads that you see there are their stream names so go follow them if you haven't yet and also i did want to share um brian probably has gone to bed by now but we have the pride collage that he put together for us too so just a collection of all these lovely people from my discord that i've been able to meet and call my friends now so just a diverse lovely group of queer individuals that i'm so happy that i've gotten to know so yes i'm just we're celebrating queerness today so we're celebrating being um in part of this community you know it is the end of pride uh today but not enough jack on here <laughs> But that's um, what I always say is Pride is forever. It's not just June, you know, it's this is the official month, but we will always celebrate for sure. Um, I did want to do, oops, I did want to do some additional shout outs that I've done earlier as well. So to some other people earlier, we shouted out our good allies, j -Bo and Zach for being awesome, straight allies that we need. And they're both, they're both really lovely, amazing people that have done a lot for us. So thank you both. Um, I also shouted out Bear Pair Gaming, Jazzworth, Bear Squared earlier. Um, there's a whole bunch of people. I'm not going to go through official shout outs right now because that'll take a long time. But I did want to shout out also my friends Common Reactor, who streams as well, another lovely person. And I think, I think, yeah, you're still here, Common. And Common is an amazing person that I'm so happy to meet. Um, Frac, Fractural, um, he just started doing tarot streams and he's if you've not heard frack's voice yet you're gonna have to like go in and listen because he has the most soothing lovely voice perfect for doing tarot reading streams go check him out too um actually, maybe i should shout them out let's see let's do it let's shout people out uh we'll shout out common again some people i can't shout out because they don't stream but I can't. 53 minutes until Gay Rathmon starts, technically, yes. Technically, I can't undress on camera, but I guess I can come back pantless, right? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh god, come No, why this? Oh! Syndicate, welcome in. Thank you for the raid. <laughs> oh boy. I always love it when I put a clip and someone and the person says, not this clip. Um, oh gosh, what is, what is Frax Twitch? Hang on. It's just Fractural? Okay. I wasn't sure if it had like numbers or anything in it. There we go. Common doesn't like any of his clips. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you for joining as well. Yeah. So let me see if he. Oh, I. Some. Yeah, I've got a bunch of people I'm gonna be shouting out. So Frack. Uh, we also have. Oh gosh, I hope this one is right as well. Y'all, if y'all don't know Sask or Rylan, um, Sask is another lovely individual you need to check out, and I can't remember what his stream name is at the moment either. <laughs> I should have prepared my, I should have prepared this before the stream, but clearly I didn't. I'm gonna go check my laundry, so just in case you're gone by the time I get back. Hey, thank you, uh, thank you, Orso. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Shibo. Thank I couldn't remember if his name was Sask Gamer or Gamer Sask on Twitch. I couldn't remember. Thank you. But good night, Orso. Thank you for hanging out. Everyone say good night to Orso. Who prepares? I I did prepare some things for the stream today, just not the right things, I guess. 
<laughs> Not the right things. Yeah, so those are some more people I wanted to shout out. Um, also, the a couple others that don't do Twitch, but they're constantly in my community doing lots of positive things. I don't know if you folks know Doug, Callisti777 on Twitter from the UK. He is just, in addition to being supportive and kind and just a lovely person, he does so many projects. He works on games, he bakes, he, yeah, he just, he writes. He does, I feel like he does everything, which I don't know how he finds the time for, but in addition to all of that, he's just a very kind individual, so go check him out. Doug is a sweetie, I love Doug. Doug is amazing. He's, I just have a lot of respect for that guy. Um, that's another person, yeah, I wanted to shout out. Um, he must be a time wizard. I don't know how he finds the time either, and he works full time, so I'm just like, he works full time, he does... I guess like a little bit of counseling as well on the side, like therapy, therapist. And then he does, he plays video games, he hangs out with his husband, he does all these other different things. I'm just like, how do you, he must be a time wizard common, that's gotta be it. <laughs> that's gotta be it. Um, another person I wanted to shout out, his name is Logan, I don't know how much he overlaps with our community, shockingly sane on Twitter. He does music. His dream is to get into video game music, and he does these really cool game remixes on his YouTube channel. So if you haven't checked him out either, he's another good creator that he kind of, you know, if we can help him get started on what his dreams are, that would be really awesome. But in addition to that, again, he's just a lovely person. You might have seen his tweet that went viral recently, the one that he, him and his husband had lost their wedding ring four years ago, and it somehow ended up in a bag of leaves that they were sweeping up this past weekend, and he found it magically. So that's really cool. But yeah, that tweet went viral, so <laughs> that's him, if you know that one. Um, oh, and uh, here's another one I can actually shout out here. That's an incredible story, I know. Hey, listen. Ellie. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. god damn it, <laughs> you know. For those of you who have those kind of redemptions that make a really loud scream, I don't know how the hell you guys do that because <laughs> that would scare the shit out of me if I'm playing it, if I'm doing anything. <laughs> but go check out Ellie, it's another sweetheart out there, another another sweetheart, go check them out. Always thinking about others and, and so kind and lovely. And I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you all. <laughs> That's like an Earl clip. <laughs> oh my god. Well, good morning, everyone. If, if you were falling asleep. <laughs> yeah, that was like an Earl clip moment. You know, when Earl's, Earl's famous loud clip. <sighs> but yeah, so that's just... There are so many more people I could cover, but those are just more people I want to shout out. Um, there's so many of you. I, I Again, I'm just, I'm so lucky to have met all of you through streaming, through Twitter, just being online in general. You know, it's it's been amazing. It's been, and it's crazy because for some of you, I don't think I've known you even a year yet. So the fact that I feel so close to so many of you now, it's, it's crazy. And I'm just so happy. So, um, you know, if I didn't shout you out, I, I don't mean to leave you out or anything. Jack, I'm not trying to leave you out. <laughs> I, I care a lot about you too, Jack. I, I think what I was trying to focus on is just these particular individuals who do streams, who are trying to make their way in the public space and um, trying to get them the exposure that they need, you know, to, to succeed in what they're doing. So um, that's the reason why I picked a lot of folks. And of course, because of what they do and the value they bring to our communities. And, but yeah, we still love you. <laughs> yeah, I'm not trying to leave any of you out. That was not the intention. But um, you know, it was just my hope to lift up some of you this month, and I think I accomplished that. So I'm happy about that. Um, as far as plans for the upcoming weekend, I don't know if I'm going to be doing any streams. Maybe on Sunday. I'm not sure. Um, for the most part, it's probably going to be low key. So, <laughs> you feel called out? I didn't, I, I'm not trying to call you out, Jack. <laughs> I think that's the one fear I had for doing these because I know 
there's not time for me to talk about everyone individually so i didn't want people to feel left out you know what i mean it's it's not my intention to do that it's just there are reasons why i focus on the particular people that i did so uh, i'm not trying to <laughs> i'm not trying to call anyone out or make anyone feel bad about it it's just uh um my way of trying to support y'all so uh, but one more time let me throw up the uh let me throw up the quiz of the day one last time shout out to yourself as well i've been boots for quite a few years now and i'm glad you started streaming well thank you john i appreciate that i've i'm honestly really lucky i'm really lucky so i it's just a lot of i think a lot of luck was involved but I'm very I'm very grateful for it honestly so um, but there you have it I think I'm gonna post this on my Twitter after this um, to give them one last shout out officially and but yeah go check out all these lovely streamers please they're all wonderful people I got a I got a chance to honor each of them one day you know each of this month and it was great it's just I'm so lucky to know all of these people and count them as friends so that's really amazing um, go check them out and one more time put up uh, our discord collage that brand put together for us with all these lovely people so i'm so lucky to have all these people in my life honestly and um but yeah that's that's what i wanted to talk about today i think we did a good job with that uh didn't make too much progress in breath of the wild unfortunately but that's okay <laughs> that's fine we'll make more progress next time um it looks like, as far as people that are online, we have my good friend Sycamaric playing Fortnite, one of the uh, lovely quiz of the day that we shouted out, playing Fortnite. And I think this is the last day that he will be raising money for his charity. So I think we're gonna send, I'm gonna send everyone over there and um, call it a night. But again, I think over the weekend, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm thinking if I do a stream, I might do one on Sunday and try to make a big dent in Breath of Fire because that's a game that I want to get through too and also finish that one so that we can put in a shorter shorter games in the rotation because Breath of the Wild is going to take a long time. So, um, but yeah, that's that's all I had. I'm getting kind of hungry, so I'm going to go help with dinner. <laughs> Good night, Jack. But yeah, I'm going to send everyone over to Eric. Uh, let me put my raid messages in the chat. Yes, dinner. So if you are subscribed, you can use the first message, if not the second one. And let me go make sure Eric is not ending yet. I don't think so. It's still early over here for us. Well, thank you all for being here. It was really a great stream. I'm, I'm glad I got to honor and thank so many of you for being a part of my life and for being a part of this community, which is honestly a group of friends. That's how I see it, so. Um, yeah, it looks like he still has a lot of time left, so let's go over there. You'll have a good rest of your night, and I'll see you again soon. Take care.